How do we know the distance to the sun? In the 1600s, people had figured out quite a bit about the layout of the solar system. They knew the planets orbited the sun, and they even had a good idea of how far apart they were relative to each other. For example, Jupiter's distance from the sun is about five times that of Earth. But here's the problem. Without knowing Earth's actual distance to the sun, these ratios were meaningless. This key distance, now called the astronomical unit, was the missing scale. Enter Christian Huygens. In 1659, he came up with a clever method to estimate the distance from Earth to the Sun using nothing but a telescope, some geometry, and one bold assumption. His key idea, use Venus. When Venus appears half illuminated, like a half moon, it forms a right angle triangle between the Sun, Venus, and Earth. You can measure the angle between Venus and the Sun in the sky at that moment. But as every student learns in trigonometry class, angles alone don't get you far. You need the length of at least one side to calculate the rest. That's where Huygens made his leap. If you knew the size of Venus, you'd get another right angle triangle, this time with one side, the radius of Venus, already known. You can now measure the angular size of Venus with a telescope and use half of this measure to complete the angles of the triangle. Then, you can work out its distance from Earth. Plug that number into your first triangle, and voila! You can calculate Earth's distance from the Sun. Now here's the twist. Huygens had no way of knowing how big Venus really was. He just assumed it was about the same size as Earth. A wild guess but it turned out to be remarkably accurate. By sheer luck, this gave him a distance to the sun of about 150 million kilometers, almost spot on by today's standards. Knowing the Earth-Sun distance was a game changer. It allowed astronomers to use parallax to measure the distance to nearby stars, the first step in turning the night sky from an untouchable mystery into a measurable universe. And it all started with a bright idea, a bit of math, and one incredibly lucky guess. 